Well, actor Trey Shaney from The Wire has a new rule for the dinner table during date nights with his wife. Trey posted to his Instagram that date nights are strictly for him and his wife. So they are banning phones from the table. So Me and my wife, Aisha Chaney, we've been married going on 20 years this wow. year. Wow, happy anniversary. And yeah. Thank you. you. And we still go on dates. Whenever we go on dates, do date day, date night, or whatever date, no phone. No phones allowed. I'm only doing this video with my phone because that's what we decide. No more phones at the table ever again. We're gonna hold hands, we're gonna pray, we're gonna eat, we're gonna chill. That's it. We're gonna be married. That's it. No more phones. Peace, it's Trey Cheney, and I'd like to introduce y'all to my new content series, The Cheney's Date Night, starring my wife, Aisha Cheney. With this content series, we will focus on the importance of connecting, love, and unity amongst couples during date night. So everybody always wanna know how we met, right? Mm -hmm. My version is, I was just turning 21, uh -huh. which was August 2nd, uh -huh. but this was in 2002. And um, i never forget, Washington DC, Club VIP, um, dope, dope club uh i was experiencing the fame of being on a wire of course right? right and um it's crazy because i remember just being in there i remember all of the women that was coming up to me mm -hmm. of course the all the guys the women or everybody was just coming up to me because they was recognizing me from the show but um i remember when you walk past and you stopped and this is my version by the way <laughs> you stopped and you was like your version. Hey, are you the uh, the guy from the wire or whatever? And I'm like, yeah, I am, you know. And I think you said you just like the show. Mm -hmm. From what I can remember, because I was lit, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. when you was you was you, it was small talk. But when you walked away, I grabbed your arm. Right. Not aggressive. Right. But I grabbed you to come back. Right. And I said, do you mind? Um, do you talk to younger men? <laughs> so what's your version of us meeting? <laughs> you was you was close. All right. So the awkward pause. You you was right about that. And then I told you how old I was. Okay. I was. I ain't no. Had no shame being twenty seven. <laughs> <laughs> and then then you asked, do I mind dating younger men? Right. And it was a pause after that. I was like, um, I haven't, but. We'll see. <laughs> and then you gave me your number. Okay. You gave me your number. I didn't give you mine. What? I don't remember that. That's a lie. You did. You, you gave me your number. Oh, wow. you still living at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. And so, back then it wasn't cell phone. So, I had to call your parents' house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I called you once. And you wasn't home. I called you. I said, I'm going to call him one more time. He don't answer, that's it. Then I called and he was home. Hello. 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 <laughs> Quality time is important because we live in a world that's uh, it's so it's, fast. It's fast. That's what I was going to say. Is we like live in a world that's fast. A microwave world right now. Microwave world and everything is so quick. Mm -hmm. It's like we, we are part of that fast mm -hmm. world. You working, I'm working, we are part. For my kids, they working, whether it's in school or at work, yeah. or you know, like our son getting ready to graduate high school, Tina being 30 years old, taking care of a daughter, our granddaughter. Mm -hmm. So the quality time that we do spend when we do get this type of time, they gotta be it's spent. like up close and personal, mm -hmm. putting the phones down. <laughs> yeah, when we go out, mm -hmm. on dates, you gotta yeah. sit, you gotta talk. Remember when you had no phones? Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like yeah. We would sit, we would talk, mm -hmm. like we used to do for hours. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what it's about. Yeah. It's so it's enjoy each other's company. Yeah, communication. Yeah. Communication is the key. When you think about the importance of um, maintaining a successful relationship, it's communication. Mm -hmm. And learning each other mm -hmm. and growing. Yeah. And then you got to figure out if you like that person. <laughs> yeah. the, the new person. Because it's yes. going to be a new person. It's Every not the time. same person. And then it's uh, 
um, falling in love with the process of watching each other grow, grow and evolve. Mm -hmm. Like I always tell people, Aisha, Trey, we're not the same people we were when we first met. No, of course not. You know, <laughs> some people grow together, some people grow apart. Damn, man, that's real. But you just gotta communicate, talk to each other, and that way you know which direction y'all going in. Yeah. And um, just being in love with each other and being in love with how our union, our bond is, is working for us. Because mm -hmm. it might not work for everybody. You're right. But it's working not. for us. That's right. You know, and, and, and that's the key that I feel is important to, you know, a successful relationship. Yeah. Marriage.